What's up, ghouls and freaks? Welcome to the second edition of Movies That Scared My Pants Off. I am Mothman Jones, and today we're going to be discussing two movies that I watched in my latter childhood that just have not escaped my mind since. The Ring? And for some reason I am... And, and for some reason I am dumb... Have you heard about this videotape that kills you when you watch it? You start to play it? That's like somebody's nightmare. Let's talk about The Ring first. The Ring is a 2002 remake of a 1998 Japanese film and it's directed by the guy who made Pirates of the Caribbean. And it stars Naomi Watts. And it's basically about this tape that if you watch it seven days later you die. The movie for the most part is a slow burn and it's brought together and you know it, it's moved along through its cinematography and disturbing imagery and there's only two or three big major scenes in terms of scares but they are so effective. It really did set the tone for the rest of the decade in terms of horror and there's only a couple of movies that came out since 2002 that were really scary but that's my opinion. The opening scene to the ring is one of the most iconic scenes in horror, especially in this generation. The scene after that, where Naomi Watts is talking to the mother of the deceased girl from the beginning of the movie, and she just, she's talking, and you just, alright, this is a regular conversation, it's just gonna go anywhere. The first time you see this movie and you have no idea, they're having this conversation, and you're just like, oh, well, where can this go? This is getting boring. And then the mother goes, and I saw her face. Beep. When I saw that image, though, as a ten-year-old boy, it hurt me, emotionally, and physically, and it still does today. And the big final scene of this movie, really, the big scare, is when Samara, the girl, finally comes out of the TV and kills Naomi Watts' accomplice, boyfriend, call it what you will. And I don't find this scene to be that scary, but I can imagine when people first saw this in the theaters, they were probably shitting their pants. And to tell you the truth, if you're watching this movie alone, you would still shoot your pants, but I don't think it's that effective anymore. But it's definitely a great scene because the whole movie builds up to this. And it's also brilliant because it was a follow-up to a false alarm ending where you thought that the curse was lifted and the girl was happy. But then the little boy starts bleeding from his nose to the enemy watch and he's like, She never sleeps. You shouldn't have done that, Rachel. I think The Ring is a modern horror classic for the 21st century. Even though it's a remake, it's one of the better remakes. And it's really effective horror. There's not that many scares, but it is effective through cinematography, disturbing imagery, and the acting, which is also pretty disturbing by the little kids part too. He did a great job. And the girl Samara, they shouldn't have shown her face because it gives more interpretation and it actually makes it more scary in my opinion, but her face is still terrifying. And just the whole concept of a tape, even though VHSs are obsolete now, that whole concept is still crazy and creepy and disturbing, and I don't want to talk about this movie anymore. Let's go on to the next movie, which creeps me out even more. <laughs> Fucking A, so stop. Even the covers freak me out, because the covers have the pictures of the women, the creepy ghost women on them, and it's just like, why? Next, we are talking about the Americanized version of The Grudge, which was also originally Juwan, which was produced by Sam Raimi. And it also stars Sarah Michelle Gellar right after her Buffy days were over. And that's all that comes to mind. I think she was the only good actress in that movie. The whole time I was in that house, I felt something was wrong. <coughs> what happened there? There's a cursed house in Japan where, before it was cursed, it was cursed because a father murdered his son and his wife, Kayoko, ugh, and a cat before killing himself. A curse was beset upon the house and people around it, and anybody who goes near the house, inside the house, makes any contact with the house, you're fucked. Story time! My parents, my brother, and I, in 2004, went to the movie theaters to see Spongebob Squarepants the movie. Just so turned out that the Spongebob Squarepants movie was sold out. I, for some reason, was told by my mother recently that I wanted to see The Grudge for my father, and my mother and my little brother were going to see Spongebob, and I must have been an idiot back then. But since Spongebob was sold out, my parents thought it was a good idea for some reason for all of us to go together as a family to see The Grudge, 
And let's just say that after that movie was over, it took me personally two and a half years to get over it. The movie itself is pretty scary with the cinematography and the disturbing imagery which involves Kyoko, the main girl ghost, and some other things. The kid with the cat noises isn't that scary. No, he is scary, but he's not that... I don't know, there's something about him that's comedic, but also terrifying. Like, if I saw him in my... Fuck, I don't want to think about it. But if I saw him in my room right now and he made that noise, safe to say I would freak out because wherever the boy is, the wife is. Meow! Chances are if you looked up... Oh, shit! That was my shadow, by the way. The worst thing about this movie, though, is that you don't see how the girl or the ghost entities take their victims. The victims just see the ghosts and then they're gone. One scene I want to talk about really quick is the scene where one of the supporting characters is trying to evade this Kyoko ghost, and she goes into her bed to hide, and she, if you've seen the movie, you know, she picks up her cover, and she's there, and the girl basically pulls, and the ghost basically pulls the girl underneath into like this, you, exactly, you, you don't know where she goes. Normally, you would be safe in your bed, but in this movie, this thing will go anywhere and find you. <laughs> Finally, the main reason why this movie terrified me is Kyoko. Everything about that ghost just creeps me out. I really wouldn't mind being murdered by Freddy, Jason, Frankenstein, Dracula, all the iconic horror icons of the past 50 to 100 years. But something about these two characters, Samara and Kyoko from The Ring and the Grudge, if I had to be killed by them, I'd rather slit my own throat before they got to me. So here is the end of the second segment of Movies That Scared My Pants Off. Let me know what you think about the Ring and the Grudge movies, both original and Americanized if you want to. Did it scare the crap out of you when you saw it originally? Does it still scare you now? What do you think about these movies in general? What do you think about Kyoko and Samara? See you next time, and have a happy Halloween. Oh, oh, oh.